Good morning everyone, we are here at the HWBOT World Series Final here 2016 in Asia. We are in direct from the Computex in Taipei. I'm Proofman from Overclocking TV and for this day I will be joined by different experts in the overclocking field. The first one with us today is Ligoft. Hey Ligoft, how are you doing? Feeling well man, the final day, so a uh, lot of stuff going on today. So we'll be live for like say several hours I think. Uh, we'll be live for at least six more hours. We have a lot of match. The one versus one today, the face off will feature the top overclocker from the different part of the world. We have actually three European in the semi final today and one Indonesian guy. That would be very tough for the guys here today. Indeed, yeah, and, and, and all these guys, they went to the qualifiers, so um, really the big shots are here and uh, all trying to get that final golden ticket to go into Berlin end of the year probably for the world's final. So this is it, here is the final of the qualifier for the for the Asia leg of the HWBOT World Series. Oh, one of the contestants, Azan, actually uh, going on the stage in the next few minutes for his match. Um, as I said, here is the final for the qualifier for the Asia leg of the HWBOT World Series. The winner of today will win one of the last two remaining tickets to go to the HWBOT World Championship to happen in December in Germany. That will be our big final, um, ending up the year of seven events. So we have seven events for the World Tour. We went on five different continents. We started in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, end of January. Then we went to um, the Cape Town in South Africa ended up in Europe, where you were actually uh, attending that uh, that event, Ligoft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was always doing the commenting, let's say, on a distance from from my little poor country, Belgium, somewhere in the middle of Europe. <laughs> and and after that, we went to North America in Montreal, Canada. And today we are here in Taipei, Taiwan, for uh, the biggest overclocking event ever organized during the Computex. We'd like to thank all the partners for that. Uh, Computex Tetra, the organizer of this huge trade show here in uh, in Taiwan. Uh, Cyber Media, Zadak 511 for the memories and SSDs. Intel for their Awesome latest new CPU, the Broadwell E, the new Intel Core i7 6950X that all the girls are using today. Of course, AOC, Seasonic, Streetcom, Thermal Grizzly. Uh, let's do not forget and give a big shout out to all of you guys that are joining us from our media partner, Tom Hardware, OCN, Techmundo, Overclocked uh, Over TV, and OC Esports. Indeed, and we already have like a lot of questions on the Twitch. What are we watching? Well, you guys, you will watch or even maybe learn a little bit about overclocking so how the way how to boost the performance of your system we'll be starting off with the extreme guys first so they're cooling down with liquid nitrogen minus 196 degrees celsius afterwards we will have the amateurs so the overclocking in fact that you can do at home to boost maybe the performance of your gaming pc or streaming setup whatever you got at home running available to do some overclocking on that's the trick here we're doing overclocking. The main purpose of this is to just push your computer as fast as you can. Your guys here are using liquid nitrogen, so that's what we call the extreme overclocking. They cool down their computer to negative 200 to actually push it even more and get more performances out of the system they have. Yeah, and indeed, uh, the thing is like uh, with the new Broadwell E, so the latest 10 core CPU, uh, we're setting like world records all over the place. So we have these benchmarks which can be downloaded from the internet and you can even see if you run them at home where you will be ranked at, at the database of hwbot.org. So the guys here have been competing for the past four, four days uh, to qualify to this special semi-final here. Uh, they will fight today to get one of the last two remaining golden tickets to the HWBOT World Championship. That This is the only way they can qualify for the World Championship. They have to attend one of the World Tour and they have to qualify there. They have to deserve that space and show off on stage. Yeah, indeed, and it's especially this show off on stage before an audience uh, being live commented. You, they hear everything that also that we're saying. Puts a lot of stress, and they only have like their 30 minutes of fame to get it through the next uh, qualifier. So uh, really hectic stuff, and uh, probably will put a lot of stress on both competitors, which are now setting up on the main stage. They will soon be starting the match. We will just have to wait that the judge go on the stage to uh, make sure that they, they draw the benchmark. So let's get a little bit more into the details of this, uh, of this, you know, the way it works here. Um, so as we say, there was qualifier uh, each day this week. And if we look at the structure, 
uh, each day the qualifier, the top three was winning some cash prize. The first one was 500 USD, the second one 250, and the third one 125 USD. So they just have the top three to qualify. We take the two best from this qualifier and we make them face off. So that was all the matches that we did along this week. And the winner of this face off accessed the semi final. So the four extreme guys that we will see today or that you're actually seeing in the uh, on the on the camera are Azan and Raccoon. So they managed to win one of the face off earlier this week. The semi final will decide who will go on the final. Makes sense. And the winner of the final will be uh, awarded the last one of the last two remaining tickets for the um, HWBot World Championship. While uh, the first uh, will also get back home with 1,000 US dollar, the second one 500, and the third one 250 US dollar. This is of course on top of what they won during the week. And as they have to uh, to be in the semi-final, they have to at least be in the top two or top three of the uh, qualifier. That adds up to what they already won, so they can go home with a pretty decent cash price, right? Yeah, already, and and of course. Um Everybody, I think, is hoping as well to, to get some hardware. The hardware that they probably used on this week, maybe to get take that back home. Fun part is, of course, we've been playing a lot with the latest uh, Intel Core i7 Extreme Broadwell eCPU. So like the new 10-core monster, which was uh, released uh, last Tuesday. Uh, the NDA was over at 2 o'clock, I think, something like that. And yeah, really impressive performance that we're getting from that CPU. Might not be let's say a little bit overkill maybe for 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 gamers but the guys that do like a lot of encoding photoshopping and all that stuff really persons or people that need all the cores that they can get to do these multi-threaded applications this thing is a monster so guys it's not only we will see the let's say the quarterfinals and the final there will also be like a bronze final so for those that uh, finished third and fourth and of course they will not be able to participate for that last golden ticket to go into berlin for the final show off of each winner of the hwbot world tour stops i can't wait to be in the in germany for the final honestly it's it's gonna be a very tough and, uh, and nice event especially with the level that the guys here have these guys are doing this almost professionally for them it's part of their works for them it's just part of the hobby but they spend so much time in this uh, in this hobby that they, they are like the complete expert of the platform. They can dial in the latest the latest settings. So maybe for most of you guys joining us here on Twitch or from the Intel channel uh, on Twitch.tv, you, you were like, like, what the hell is going on, right? Because sometimes even some of the settings, I get lost in some of them. I, uh, is that the same for you, League of that there's so many settings that sometimes you're like, oh, I don't know which one to take. Yeah, and it's with each uh, new platform that is released by Intel or even AMD that uh, the new stuff is added to the BIOS. And, and that's always the fun part, in fact, that you have to explore the new hardware. What can it do? Everybody is expecting performance gains, gains but the thing is you have to be able to exploit them and exploit them in, in, in a good way. Usually when the platform is released, there are still a lot of, let's say, little bugs and little things to, to, to find out and, of course, to resolve. But finally, let's say a few months later down the road, most things should be ironed out and the, the setup should be working like smoothly and stable. And that's uh, what we are using here, the latest new CPU from Intel, the Intel Core i7, uh, the X Extreme Core i7, actually, uh, 6950X. This CPU is uh, usually called Broadwell E. That's the call name for, for the overclockers that they usually use. Uh, this uh, CPU features 10 core, uh, 20, uh, 20 logical cores. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a beast of power. This is the fastest CPU you can get on the market as a consumer-grade uh, consumer processor. It seems extremely fast. Indeed, it's extremely fast. Just to shout out to the guys on Twitch, you can win maybe one of these. Maybe Truthman can, can share it. So we have like this huge giveaway going on. So mainly from our main partners. And guys, there's really not much to do. I don't think you really need even to, to answer a question. Just click on the link, like Overclocking TV, and you're almost good to go, I think. This is it. So the, you can win one of these awesome prizes on the giveaway. You can just go to Overclocking dot TV, the overclocking tv.com forward slash raffle and queue in your name. Just press the like button, that's always appreciated either on Twitch or on Facebook. You can win one of the Zadak 511 Mac Z SATA 3 2.5 SSD. You can win one of the latest Intel Core i7, the 6950X. This CPU is worth 1700 USD. This is a crazy price. This is, I think, the, the most expensive price we ever had in a giveaway so far. You can win one of the Platinum PSU, the 1050 from 
from uh, Seasonic and you can win one of the unique remaining uh, prototype of the Stricom BC1 Open Bench Table. This is not available on the market. The only way you can get it is by winning it in here. Some of the contestants will get it as part of the prizes as well, uh, part of the prize and part of the um, uh, of the no the perks that they can have uh, with the cash. Yeah, indeed, and uh, like I say, the Streetcom is being developed by Streetcom in association with HW Bot and Overclocking TV, and it's re really like a unique bench table. So for the people uh, at home watching, usually have these bench tables which are quite huge. And this one is really made for overclockers that go on a location. So in fact, you see it being displayed on the screen on the right hand side. But you can really like sort of fold it up, and it, it's like a, a little notebook that you have in, in your in your luggage, and it's really durable, really strong, and even for the extreme guys, it's like yeah. It does its job really, really, really well. Indeed, and this is crazy, guys, because uh, you know here we have been uh, we had like a, the most intense week ever. This is the most intense week we ever had here at the at the, at the trade show like this. Uh, what was your feeling along this uh, this week, Major League Oft? Yeah, at the beginning, it's like we said uh, on Tuesday we uh, we were able to play already with the latest Broadwell eCPUs even before launch, but we couldn't release the scores due to the NDA with, with Intel. But indeed, like uh, amazing power. And, and the thing is, like in the beginning, we were not able to, let's say, maximize the CPUs. We, everybody was hitting like around 5,000 megahertz, 5,100 megahertz on, on the CPUs, cooled by liquid nitrogen around minus 100 degrees Celsius. And yesterday we saw these same CPUs like reaching already like 200 megahertz higher. Now for the people at home that don't do extreme overclocking, your results probably will vary a little bit and you will probably be limited by your cooling capacities. But yeah, we're getting there. And I think also the mainboard manufacturers are working hard to improve the BIOSes and, and, and the firmwares on the boards day in, day out, just to get like the best performance and have of course them overclocking, let's say PR, things for their uh, yeah for the for the marketing it's really important for them and we're really happy that we can 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 aid the community or the mainboard manufacturers to 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 get it done but this is important to note that uh, most of you guys here on the Twitch live chat and uh, watching us on Twitch, you guys are a gamer and you have to keep in mind that for the past 15 years, the overclockers have been working kind of like in the shadow or the underground with this uh, with this industry. I always make the comparison that maybe if the overclocker were not there for the past 10, 15 years pushing everything to the limits, Maybe we will just have black and red motherboard and nothing else. Um, I usually take this example as 10 years ago, we had to modify stuff on the motherboard itself to make it do extreme overclocking. Nowadays, it's not needed anymore. We can just take the motherboard, insulate, boot with it, and do extreme overclocking with it. This is something that went a long, long way from what it was 10 years ago. Indeed, and I think many overclockers have their roots, like saying, in, in the gaming, because... Uh, it even back then, like 10, 15 years ago, no, and not everybody was able to afford maybe the light, the latest high Intel CPU or AMD setup at that moment. So we looked for ways, how can we get maybe the, the cheaper version work as fast or even faster maybe than the, the fastest CPU that was on the market back then, just to improve our frame rate. It was a little bit more important for gaming back then because we only had usually single core CPUs. And yeah, of course, today we are spoiled with four, six, eight, and now even 10 cores for the desktop platform, which is insane, insane performance. As you can see, the guys are prepared on the uh, stage. We will be waiting for them to do the uh, benchmark draw. Indeed, so uh, there's a question when the carnage will begin. Indeed, it will be like pretty soon. Just just dialing in and Christian Ney, the head moderator at uh, hwbot.org, is verifying that uh, all contestants or both contestants indeed play fair and that they don't load like profiles in the BIOS. So you will see a lot of BIOS screens probably popping up. So these guys, they really master it. They, they, they just wait through all the settings in a matter of seconds i think but don't forget guys if you want to do this at home all the mainboard vendors they include like overclocking software for motherboards and even for the graphics cards lately it, it, it's it's been like a development over the years beforehand we had to do like all these modifications by using a soldering iron and, and all that stuff <laughs> yeah those days are like literally over all, all mainboard manufacturers and graphics card manufacturers have like these specialized overclock versions and even let's say the mainstream models, you, there's still always some potential to, to squeeze out a little bit more extra performance. 
the match should start in any seconds now. We're just waiting for Christian Ney, the judge here at the AWBOT World Series Asia, to uh, draw the benchmark and to make sure that every system is completely working before they go for the match. They will be competing for 30 minutes. The benchmark is not known yet, so one out of the 12 benchmark will be draw first one of the each of the overclocker have one veto that means only one uh, they can only veto one benchmark and if they veto well, let's say that uh, they can have uh, one out of 11 chances to have a benchmark uh, they they prefer yeah indeed and today we will only see like 2d benchmarks like we call so these are like uh, let's say subsystem related processor and memory speeds and stuff like that is really important so we're not doing any 3d rendering maybe that would be an idea for next year if you could include like maybe a graphics card into the into the competition yeah even in bios or or, or whatever we are having the judge here to make sure that everything is fine. Um, the judge is Christian Ney, he is head moderator at HWBot and he will be uh, making sure that everything goes well and smoothly for the competition. Right, you can see on the screen here is uh, Azan. Azan from Indonesia. Maybe you can wave at the camera if he hears us. Azan, can you wave at the camera? Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so there was a question on Twitch, how long have we been into overclocking? Uh, that's quite uh, a long time, I think it um, dates back when I was still young and pretty, I always say that each day, but uh, that's already Did like... Did that day ever happen? Did that day ever exist? There's no proof of that, but... There were no cameras invented back then when I was still young and pretty. So uh, tried to look for some some yeah, some footage of me when I was uh, yeah maybe 15 kilos lighter and uh, had a little bit more hair on my head and none on my face. But yeah, we've been over, I've been into overclocking I think for the last 15 years and all my setups at home have been overclocked back then. It's not that they've been overclocked to massive, but just at least usually like a, another 10%, just to get that little extra performance when I'm when I'm gaming and, and, and streaming some stuff. Yeah. Why not? It's for free. It's there. The potential is there. So why not exploit it? Okay, guys, just before the match will start, I can... Uh, let's do a, like a raffle. So don't forget, you can go on the giveaway page and win some of the awesome stuff. But I have something here, one of the Zadak 511 SSD. Uh, I think it's uh, 250 gigs for this one. Yeah, 250 gigs. So you can win one of these SSD. The uh, the only thing you have to do is to go on the live chat, type the command raffle and the name of the guy that you are cheering for today. Is it Azan or is it Raccoon? No matter who will win, we just have to cheer for one of the guy and you can type the command raffle and the name of the guy, Azan or Raccoon. Who are you personally rooting for, my dear Ligoft? Well, Raccoon is like uh, the, the newcomer on the block, in fact. Uh, he's been like uh, picked up by the guys from Overclockaholic in Switzerland. And yeah, he's been doing pretty pretty well. And, and we have seen him in, already in, in France at the Poitiers event when we were at Gamers Assembly, one of their biggest LAN parties in, in France. And he really did well. There wasn't like this huge, let's say, daily qualifier thing going on. But at least he managed to qualify for the MSI MOA finals it was back then. And he, yeah, the guy is doing really well and he's... Picking it up, and of course, if you like here in Taipei, you meet all, let's say, the in-house overclockers. Uh, we have Sophos here from from Gigabyte. Nick Shi from Xrock is is walking around. And you, they can get even tips from from the pros. So yeah, it, it just helps them to, to to let's say get get dialed in a little bit quicker. And just to give you guys a heads up, so we were if they were overclocking a memory stick which could do like 3200 megahertz on air over 5000 megahertz yesterday. And I think that's also awesome for the Zedek 511 people that have been like supporting this 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 overclocking event for the entire week and providing us with all these memory kits and, and even the special ones. And yeah, they got the world record in their pocket. So awesome. Yeah, there's a lot, so many things happening here at Computex. So Computex, for those, for you guys, that's the first time you heard about that name. Computex is the biggest IT trade show in the world regarding computer hardware. This is the mecca here about uh, in Taipei, Taiwan. This is the mecca of all computer enthusiasts. That the, the Computex is one week, always the first week of ju of June, and there's always so many new stuff coming out here. So this year, this year we had the new Broadwell eCPU from Intel on the launch last Tuesday. Then we had 
had Zadac 511 that was the new a new brand of memory completely uh, new to the market as well and there's so many stuff in the showground as well like you see stuff even a year before they're actually going on the market this is crazy you see a lot of prototype you see stuff that sometimes never happened to be on the market yeah indeed it's always i it has been like for for the europeans see at hanover was also like a big trade show back then but we see that the let's say the main main board vendors and even now like intel and and, and their competitors are usually releasing all the new stuff at either at CES Las Vegas or here at Computex in the summer. And yeah, always great to be here because we can always play with the latest and greatest hardware. The latest and the greatest. It looks like my nickname. The latest and the greatest. Uh, no. Talking talking about um, no sayings and so, uh, what, what's the t-shirt are you wearing? Like, Can you show it on the camera? Uh, keep pushing, keep pushing it, keep pushing it. Flex my muscles. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys can get this t-shirt as well on the Twitch shop. Uh, we, as we are partner on Twitch, we can get some of these awesome t-shirts to you. It's been a long time we wanted to do them. Uh, you can just queue in and just make them. Uh, you can just go below the Twitch um, the Twitch player on our Twitch page, twitch.tv forward slash overclocking TV. If you're watching us on the Intel stream, you just have to go to the uh, to the overclocking, uh, overclocking TV channel. And just below, you have the t-shirt shop link where you can buy one of these. Maybe it's better, Truthman, if you can you show like uh, the names correctly because I see a lot of people misspelling, let's say, the names. So, guys, if you misspell it, you will not be able to enter. So, it has to be right. So, we'll put the names up. Hazan or Raccoon, the way it's spelled now. And Overclocking TV, they just mentioned it. So, please type in the correct name. Otherwise, the let's say, the bot will not pick you up and you will not be, you will not have like a legit entry at that moment. And so, don't forget, guys, if you want to have uh, all your chance, you always have to follow Overclocking TV here on Twitch to make sure that when we're going to send you the email, uh, uh, the, the PM, the private message, you will receive it in time. Actually, you will not be flagged as spam. That's, that's the old trick here. So you have to follow Overclocking TV as well on your uh, on your Twitch account. Yeah, the- I heard that uh, we should be ready to start in about five minutes from now. So I guess that we will uh, be dr- queuing in into the draw for the benchmark. Yeah, and the thing that we have to to say here is that uh, each day the, we were supported by another vendor from motherboard. So uh, indeed, you will see a show off between the four different main board vendors. So we're starting off uh, now, I think, with ASRock versus Gigabyte, or is it MSI that Hazan is using? So it's ASRock on the left for Raccoon and MSI for Hazan. For the people that know Hazan, uh, normally he's like associated a little bit more with Asus. So for him as well, it's like a, a competition. It's like you if you drive, I don't know, McLaren, Mercedes or the Formula One and the next day you have to drive uh, the Red Bull car. So you have to adapt to it. And, and that's the fun thing about this this event that you also have to play with, with other manufacturers' hardware and give feedback and, and maybe even, yeah, crush your previous records on, on the hardware that you were really acquainted to. So as you can see on the screen here, you will have uh, Azan on the left of the screen and Raccoon on your right. So guys, still for the name, Raccoon is Romeo, Alpha, Charlie, Oscar, Oscar, November. So no two Cs, otherwise the bot will not pick you no, up. Two C. Okay, uh, no, 2C? Okay. No, no, no. It's, it's, some people misspell uh, it with two Cs. There's only one C. So get the names right, guys. Otherwise... I made the issue, I made the mistake while typing his nickname, so I will I will accommodate everyone for that first raffle as long as it's pronounced the same. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, it would be too bad if you missed out like a seventeen hundred and eighteen dollar eighteen hundred dollar CPU by, by <laughs> adding an extra C. That would be like a real shame. Don't forget, guys, we're doing the raffle now for one of these Zadak 511 SSD. <laughs> Actually, that's the only way you can get them as well because they are not on sales yet. <laughs> yeah, these, these were, I, even for me, like I, I googled their website like a few weeks ago because we saw uh, Zedek 511 pop up at HWBot as a main sponsor and then we saw, they, okay, they're sponsoring this event and yeah, <laughs> it was just a black page in the beginning. So it's uh, under development or under construction at this moment. They just announced the brand, man. It's completely new. It's completely new. And they've been providing the DDR4 memory, the B, uh, the B, the B, the B side chip. Man, that's that that's crazy. Like this brand is already like having smashing a record and having top scores by the overclockers. And it's been like three days the brand exists. Yeah, indeed. So that's that's a good thing. And it's like we said, it's it's all about the marketing. If you can really like. Use use this this these channels to, 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 to get it all done and to get some extra more exposure. Yeah, really awesome. 
So we're almost ready for the guys. They're still dialing in. The BIOS Raccoon had a small issue. He couldn't change a certain feature in his motherboard, but after refreshing the BIOS, it seems to be quite okay. So what you will see in the beginning is uh, now they're working at ambient temperatures, so the CPUs are positive, and they can only cool down their CPU with the liquid nitrogen, which you see in the thermal flasks in front of them, so the big silver flasks. Liquid nitrogen fluid is inside, and once, let's say, the competition starts, the 30 minutes of fame or even pain, maybe, and you never know what happens, they are only allowed to cool down from when the clock timer starts to run. So we are almost ready. I will. Uh, we will just take a quick break, and we will have the first match of today.